started. Hi, I'm Tommy Edwards, former PA for the Chicago Bulls. And you'll hear me calling Bulls games on NBA 2K22. It's game time. Get on your feet. 2K has got such an incredible reputation. It's worldwide. And I thought, oh my gosh, I can be a part of that? I can't believe this. I mean, it was just amazing. Michael Jordan hammers at home. I mean, I remember when Michael was drafted back in 1984. And I got a phone call from management of the Bulls and said, the rookie is unbelievable. And so we need for you to come up with something really, really special to introduce him. My wife and I go to a movie at the legendary Biograph Theater in Chicago, and they played Cirrus by the Alan Parsons Project, which is the intro to Eye in the Sky. And I'm sitting there and I'm going, I think I could use this for the Bulls intro. I think it'll be great. So I went out and got it the next day, called the Bulls and said, I think I've got it. I hope you like it. And when I actually did it that first time, people were so excited to see this rookie. But by the time it was like the fourth or fifth game, when I would say, from North Carolina, head guard, 6'6", number 23, Michael Jordan. And then you couldn't hear anything because the crowd would be so loud. Michael said he couldn't hear anything. And so he just eventually got up and ran out to center court. But it became such a huge thing. And now we understand other teams are using it. And I, I think it's great. I'm just very proud of it. Rejection, a block shot. I started announcing the center position at one time saying, in the middle. And one time I just said, the man in the middle, seven feet, that night, we're driving home, and my eight-year-old daughter's in the back seat, and she said, Dad, I really loved it when you said the man in the middle. And I went, you did? Yeah. Okay, that's it from now on. And that's how it came to be. At forward, 6'8", number 33, Scotty Pippen. I can tell you this, they're smart people. They know the game. They want to win just as much as any other team in the league. I mean, that's not unusual at all. But when somebody's not playing up to par in their opinion, they're letting them know about it. But when they're out there like Kirk Heinrich and they're falling on the floor when Dennis Rodman is just going after a rebound, fans love that. It's blue collar. And that's exactly what Chicago fans are. Hardworking people who want to watch a good game where the team is out there giving everything they can to win.